and I'm joined by Brewers prospect Lucas Erzig. Okay, Lucas, you're here AFL. AFL. It's a little bit different than spring training, but mm -hmm. how's it been for you? Oh, it's been a good transition from the season. You know, I uh, got to go home for a little bit, probably like two weeks. Um, gave me a good time uh, to, you know, settle down, relax the body, and um, you know, basically when I came back out here, it was kind of like a transition um, from like a week of instructs slash um, like a hitting camp and you know just getting back into the rhythm of things and then coming out here to you know work out for five days and then you know game started in and um, you know it's been fun the whole time I mean uh, a lot of great guys on the team uh, you know good competition get, uh, it's a chance for us to get some exposure and, and basically just uh, have fun playing baseball for you know the rest of the fall. Speaking of other guys that you're gonna face is there anyone on another team that you're like oh man can't wait to go up against them? Um, no, I can't really think of any right now. Um, it was funny because, um, you know, we played the Frederick Keys in high A this year, and they actually, they're on our team, the Orioles, so yeah. um, it's cool to hang out with them and, um, you know, get a chance to, to play with them and see what type of players they are in the, in the dugout on the same team, so. Is there anything that you're looking to work on here at AFL? Um, basically, uh, hitting-wise, stay with a consistent approach, mm -hmm. um, and de defensively, um, just work on my footwork, um, backhands, uh, ground balls in the six hole, and um, all around just finish through the baseball. Now throughout, throughout the season, last season, uh, struggling a little bit at the plate, but farm director did notice you were, it was lefties in particular that were giving you trouble. Were you aware of that at all beforehand and how did you kind of change that? Um, you know, it was funny because um, this year we played in the Carolina League, but I like to call it the Carol Lefty League. And uh, <laughs> towards, the, towards the beginning to middle of the the season, you know, I was struggling against lefties because I, I wasn't really um, facing them as much, yeah. and um, you know, getting an abundance of lefties in the Carolina League really helped me, um, you know, kind of um, change what I was doing at the plate. And yeah. you know, in the second half, I made some adjustments in terms of my approach, and you know, trying to stick with that approach, and got the results from there. But um, I wasn't really trusting in my process um, towards the first half of the season, and that's where the results came negatively. You know yeah. what I mean? So. Yeah. Now let's talk about the process mm -hmm. to get here. There's some peaks and valleys, and your story is so inspiring. Thank you. So what would you say to maybe your younger self, if mm -hmm. you could go back and give him advice? Um, stay in school. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, um, seriously though, um, um, I don't think I had my priorities right, so I'd for sure go back and, you know, tell myself, hey, you know, you're not... Like, you're kind of... You don't realize you're doing the bad thing. You just think you're, like, trying to do all the other things in life and do baseball and do school and have fun with your teammates and friends and you know go home and relax with family but you know at the time I kind of had that thing stirred into a pot I wasn't really necessarily knowing what ingredients I was putting in putting in that pot I just was throwing random things in there and you know kind of just tasted bad at the end so how has that made you who you are today going through all of that um you know I definitely you know had to re hit the reset button and um, that really helped me you know um, I've had, I guess, a history of doing the wrong thing and then realizing that I was doing it, you know, and like had to, you know, pay the price, uh, quote unquote, whatever. But, um, you know, after, definitely after realizing that, you know, I messed up at Cal and, and had to transfer, that's when I really had to sit down and, you know, hit yeah. the reset button. So. Now let's talk a little more positive because yeah. it did all turn out. You right. got drafted. Talk me through draft day. Oh, it was awesome. I, uh, I was at my girlfriend's family's house in Half Moon Bay. And um, I invited you know a couple friends over. I wasn't sure whether or not I was going the first day. I just was kind of hoping, you know. And uh, I was talking with my agent, and he was telling me, "Hey, you know, we got a call here. We got a call here." But it wasn't really anything big up until I think it was like the 41st pick. He called me, and he told me that I was uh, going to be a brewer. And you know, I came out because uh, all my friends were watching the draft, and you know, my family and stuff. And uh, I came out and was like trying not to cry, you know what I mean? Because I was so excited yeah. and, and you know, when, when uh, the guy came up and he said, you know, with the 46th pick, I kind of, I, I think I blew it early because I started like, you know, shaking and stuff. I was so excited. And just to get the second opportunity, you know, to continue my career as a baseball player is just, you know, a dream come true. And I know, I knew, you know, like at that moment, I was like, you know, this is just the start. It's not, it's not my dream to just, get drafted my my dream is to you know play in the bigs for as long as I can so I'm gonna do whatever I can to make that happen now look looking forward just like that you're looking towards the bigs looking forward to 2018 from now to then what goals have you set for yourself 
Um, definitely get stronger. I know this off season, um, or last off season, I wasn't really sure what to do. You know, I found myself, um, you know, working out and trying to do a lot of things, but I knew that, you know, my day would be done by 1 p.m. and then I kind of questioned like, hey, what do I do now? But I know now um, with the timeline that I have uh, coming up, uh, I'm gonna do a better job of organizing my days, um, making sure that I'm doing all the right things. Um, um, you know, basically, I mean, in terms of health, eat better, you know, I kind of, during the season, it's kind of hard to eat better, but um, I didn't really know what I was supposed to be eating in the off season, how I was gonna get bigger, but now I know. Um, um, other than that, I mean, just, you know, keep playing and, you know, try and get as many at-bats or see some live pitching, whatever, you know, if, um, there's another guy uh, that plays in the Rangers that I went to high school with, his name's Lucas Jacobson, he's one of my best friends and, you know, he's actually a lefty, so I think it'd be good for him to, you know, face me or, you know, whatever, have yeah. have some live ABs and stuff like that, so it'll be good. Awesome, thank you so much, best of luck. Thank you very much, appreciate it, thank you.